Hi, this is Suzanne Williams with Essential Oils, Health Matters, and Living the Wholesome Life. And we are on week 48, day three of our positive, peaceful affirmations that we are doing every day, Monday through Friday. We are following Dr. Susan Lawton's book, Positive, Peaceful Growth Calendar, that you can find at Aroma Tools or Oil Life. If you love essential oils and you love music therapy, if you love, if you love um, positive affirmations and aromatherapy, I think you're really gonna love and appreciate this book. It is simple in its format, but profound in the changes it can help us make in our lives. The affirmation for this entire week that we're focusing on is I am energized by beauty and love that is flowing my way. I just want us to sit with that for a minute. Aren't we, don't we feel amazing when we feel loved? Like when someone gives us a compliment or gives us a hug or gives us a little gift. We just had a gift come in the mail yesterday and it just brought on this excitement. It was so fun. Anyway, so we are energized when we have love and beauty coming our way. So we're going to do what we can to make our environments more beautiful, to make our homes more beautiful. And we are going to do what we can to show other people more love so that we can energize them in positive ways as well. The affirmation for the for today, whoops, the affirmation for today is, I am peaceful when speaking with new people about Mother Nature. I thought, wow, that's a super specific affirmation. I am peaceful. But, you know, thinking about it just a little bit more, there's a lot of contention that is going on in the world today. There's a lot of... um polarizing and there's a lot of discord whether it's on politics or how we are um how people are are social distancing or not social distancing or wearing masks or masks as we're as we are as i'm filming this it's 2020 and uh, there's there's still a lot of concern when it comes to immunity and, and what supports our immune system and what might be what might be dangerous or not dangerous. And there's so much discord on um, a lot of different things. Some people, whether it's your school choice, going to public school or private school or online school or homeschooling, there's a lot of discord right now. And so I actually really appreciate this reminder that we can be peaceful when speaking about nature. Like, I just can't imagine anyone getting into a fight over how beautiful the, the full moon is. We're going to have a full moon tonight. And I always love going out in the full moon, um, taking a walk. It's so pretty, just being under the moonlight, enjoying that. Anyway, I can't imagine someone having a fight over, oh my gracious, I had the best time camping. It was so nice being out in in the woods, in the forest, and, and just, you know, went canoeing or kayaking in the lake that was there. So while there are many things that we might be might have different opinions on and might be polarized might that might polarize us. There are still beautiful things that can connect us. Lately, I've been into canning. I know I haven't canned for like at least a decade. And lately I've just been, the family's just been helping me can a ton, which I'm so thankful for. And so maybe even connecting over nature with your, with your neighbors. They were seeing how easy it was to make some homemade jam from 100% juice that you can just buy at the store. And I'm gonna put a link to that in the comments below. And so 
whether you're and and then maybe giving that a, a jar of homemade jam to your neighbors with some home baked bread or maybe you make cookies that are amazing or or whatever it is maybe every once in a while you have someone in your circles and you buy flowers for them so However, we're connecting over nature. Nature seems to bring a sense of peace, which makes sense because it's made by the God of peace, right? Who sent his Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ, to come down and atone for our sins so that we can all have the opportunity to repent and get back to him. So, at times when we're not feeling peaceful. Perhaps we can, you know, definitely start your diffuser blends and put in some balance or, or even some lavender. We're gonna be talking about lavender today. You know, definitely start your diffuser. That's gonna help bring, a, bring us back to a state of peace. But incorporating nature too. Some people are great at growing gardens and more power to those people that are out there like that. Some people are beautiful at, at bringing bringing plants into their homes and more power to people like that. That is not my expertise yet, but I appreciate seeing nature and having in nature incorporated into my house. So if you, here's my hint for the day, the day and what we're concentrating on, if we start to get into contention, how can we bring it back to things that we can all connect over. And and nature is a beautiful thing to connect over. Hey, what did you think about the full moon last night? Hey, when's the last time, you know, you went fishing? Or, hey, what, you know, whatever. Anyway, I'm sure you can come up with your own conversations, peaceful conversations about nature. The song for the entire week is The Waltz of the Flowers by Peter Tchaikovsky. Beautiful song. I've been exploring waltzes. I um, haven't found one yet that I that is as soothing as I like my music to be. I like The Waltz of the Flowers, but I'm, I'm, I'm keeping the exploring. So if you have waltzes specifically that you think are just beautiful music, go ahead, put them in the comments. Actually, I would think that Bach's, Johann Sebastian Bach's um, Pastoral Symphony, I think it's Bach. Anyway, I'll put that in the comments too. As long as we're talking about nature, I think that the Pastoral Symphony would be a beautiful one to play. The diffuser blend for the entire week is two drops of sandalwood, which is the oil of sacred devotion and the oil of alignment, and then two drops of cinnamon, I call it the Superman of oils. It helps us to be confident and um, also can stir up a little bit of the passion that we have inside us, either either romantic passion, um, helping us form friendships, or just our passion for, for what we're supposed to be doing in life. And then the the one that we're going to be talking and then it's two drops of lavender essential oil which is the oil of communication and calm and today we're going to be talking about that lavender essential oil but i just dropped my notes so hold on okay talking about lavender well let me give you a little bit of um, background on lavender essential oil lavender gets its name from the latin lavar meaning to wash. Since the ancient Romans used to bathe in lavender scented water. Now, when I think of lavender scented water, I think of the, a beautiful vacation that my um, husband and son Colt took when they were out teaching uh, essential oil classes in the Philippines and they had a stopover in China. And they got out and they went to this beautiful, gorgeous, um, natural spa place where they had, well not completely natural, like it wasn't natural hot spring spice. It was a natural, it had a lot of hot spring pools and in each of the pools they would put something different. Like they would put rose petals in one and then lavender in another and 
um, jasmine and the list just went on lemons and and oranges and who knows what else so it was beautifully beautifully scented water and I doesn't that just sound gorgeous and peaceful and relaxing so when I think of bathing in lavender I just that's what it reminds me of and we don't have to go to a spa like that to get that same experience just putting some like lavender um like three to five drops of lavender mm. into a quarter cup or to a full cup i'm i'm more the quarter cup but some people like a whole a full cup and putting that into our bath and soaking in it can give us the same experience and and play around with the with what you like to put in your bath Okay, the ancient Egyptians used lavender for mummification and as a perfume. In fact, when King Tut's tomb was opened in 1923, there was said to be a faint scent of lavender that could still be detected after 3,000 years, which is amazing. One of the most, lavender is one of the most known essential oils and it's one of the oils that we that we tend to use first because lavender is in so many things commercially out there, right? It's not 100% real lavender, but it's the lavender scent. And so we're familiar with that. We're familiar with lavender and perfumes, our body washes or, you know, baby products because it's so soothing. So most of us really have a handle on lavender plus it's so gentle and easy to use that you almost I can't even imagine going wrong when you're using lavender it's just like one of those no fail things you can't I can't imagine anyone really ever doing any harm with lavender lavender is found in Africa <coughs> lavender is found in Africa Asia and Europe Sometimes it's called the grandmother of essential oils. <coughs> Caleb, can you pull me away water, please? So, <coughs> ah, I think I need a drink of water. Thank you. Sometimes it's called... <coughs> interesting interesting how sometimes like you're not copying like the whole entire day then you hop on and you do a Facebook live and it's like huh anyway lavender is sometimes called the grandmother essential oils because of the way it cares and nurtures nurtures at uh, nurtures us through such a variety of both emotional and physical issues for some people, for, for the same reason, a lot of people call it, like to call it the Swiss Army knife of oils because it's just so good for so many different things. So lavender is a, made from a flower, it's made from a purple flower. Um, many of us have seen it in gardens, you know, as we go out into our neighborhoods and take walks. One thing that you need to know about flower oils is that they're all very calming and relaxing, calming to our systems physically and calming to our emotions. So it matters where the lavender that you're using is grown. And let me tell you about the different constituents of lavender depending on where it's grown. Lavender grown in the south of France has an, a higher ester content, which is soothing and healing for the skin. Lavender grown in Bulgaria has a higher alcohol content, which has an astringent, has astringent properties that are great for cleaning the skin. Lavender grown in England has a very, very sweet smell, a much sweeter smell than lavender that's grown in like the south of France. So, um, the, the lavender grown in France has a more heady and deep aroma. Lavender, and so doTERRA actually harvests its lavender from France and from Bulgaria. So you have that, um, that beautiful combination of the lavender. 
Lavender is definitely an essential, one of the first essential oils that I'd want to recommend for me and for everyone to have in their essential oil kits just because it's so good for so many things and it's super easy to use. A fun fact about lavender is in the 12th century, a German her herbalist, Hildegard von Bijen, declared that lavender was good for maintaining a good character. Now, I was thinking about this. Why would anyone say that lavender is good for maintaining a good character? And the answer instantly came to my mind, and that was this. When we're relaxed and we're calm, we're in our prefrontal cortex, which means, which is where we make good decisions. That means our brain is not being flooded with emotion. We're being calm and, and cool and collected. And when we're that, we don't make bad decisions. Usually, right? It's when we get agitated that we seem to make bad decisions. So when we're calm and cool and collected, we're nicer. We're more loving. We don't yell. We don't argue. Why would you argue if you're calm and cool and collected, right? We can, I can have my opinion and you can have your opinion too and that's good, that's okay. Um, also, when you're calm and cool and collected, you don't tend to like, um, you don't tend to do things that you, that you later regret. Again, it's usually when we're agitated, whether, whether, um, I don't know, there's lots of things that people can do that we're, they can regret, but that doesn't happen usually, to at least not to my knowledge, when we're calm and cool and collected. When we're calm, cool, and collected, we make better decisions um, spiritually, we make d better decisions business-wise, we make better decisions um, all around. So I can see why someone would say that lavender helps people to keep a better character. What does she exactly say? Good for maintaining a good character, right? Because when we are calm and cool collected, we're not gonna do the things that we know are not good for us and not good, um, you know, spiritually wise. Okay. So, here are some of the doTERRA products that have lavender in it. Rescuer, which is good for, um, is the oil that doTERRA has made to, for, for um, children's like aches and pains, like muscle aches and stuff like that. If they've been exercising too much, if they're having growing pain, stuff like that. So Rescuer, Immortal, ah, oh, that is a beautiful blend. It's one that's made, people call it the beautifying blend. People love to use it on their complexion, but it's filled with flower oils and with frankincense and sandalwood and oils that are just so nurturing and supportive to a good complexion. And it has, it's in the Adaptive. Now, Adaptive came out last year. It's one of doTERRA's um, newer products. Actually, their doTERRA is just about to release. They're just about to have a new convention this month in about a week's time. And they're going to be re releasing all the new products. I'm so excited to see what they're going to be. But Adaptive is one of the things that does exactly what the name says. Like, it helps us stay calm and adapt to whatever it is that is going on around us. And that's being adaptive is a beautiful skill to have. It's in the calmer, which is doTERRA's blend to help children just stay calm and composed. It's beautiful for adults too. It's in Elevation, which is doTERRA's um, oil that is super, super uplifting. Like if you have a dark cloud hanging over you, Elevation would de definitely be one. If you wanna just bring up the mood of in for the people in your home or at work, diffusing elevation can keep us all with more, help us all to have more of a spirit of optimism. And it's in doTERRA's Aroma Touch. Now again, Aroma Touch is a beautiful massage blend that is so good for promoting circulation and for sore muscles. So does doTERRA love lavender? Yes, lavender is one of the essential oils that is 
well known and well used around the world. So here are some of the physical properties. It's, it has antioxidant properties. It's calming and soothing on so many of our systems in the body. It improves mood and relieves stress. It's great, oh, I think everyone knows this next one. It's great for times when you can't sleep. How are you gonna use it? You're gonna get your lavender oil out, you're gonna put a few drops in your diffuser, you're gonna start it up. How easy is that? Or you're gonna put a couple drops of lavender on your hand, rub them together, rub that on your chest area and then put it on the bottoms of your feet. You can put a couple of drops of lavender into a spray bottle, you know, like one of those two ounce spray bottles and spray your pillow, spray your linens down with that. Makes a beautiful, beautiful, relaxing linen spray. Um, so those are some ways to use lavender for sleep. You can also, again, put it in an Epsom salt bath with you. Um, when you're using Epsom salt baths, always remember, can you pull me the lavender, please? Always remember to up your water intake. It's great, lavender is great for helping to balance out blood sugar. You can apply it to your neck and chest or you can diffuse it. It's neuroprotective and it protects against antioxidant stress and it can improve our, our cognitive abilities. Lavender activates the parasympathetic, parasympathetic nervous system which is our rest and digest system. So it's gonna help us not only get better rest, but it's also gonna help our digestive system function more, function better. Lavender is great for our cardiovascular system. It can help bring back, and it can help create a healthy blood pressure balance. So if you have high blood pressure or low blood pressure, check out the studies on lavender and see if if what you read says that it, um, it can help. Lavender can help us regulate our heartbeats. Lavender is invaluable for almost any skin condition. Condition. So if your skin is dry, red, itchy, cracked, um, if you have rashes, or if you're trying to clear up your complexion, if you have insect bites or burns, cuts or stretch marks, lavender is going to be one of your best friends for all of those conditions. It's so soothing and nurturing to our skin. So consistent use with, um, so if someone had had a burn, let me tell you how I use it. Well, first I would definitely put that burn, well, depending on the severity of the burn, but if we're talking like first or second degree burn, I would definitely put that burn in water, start cooling it off. I would put one drop of lavender in that water. Um, I would, and you know, if you can't just sit around there with your hand in a cold water pan or underneath the sink, you know, forever, right? So then I would I would put a couple drops of lavender on a wet washcloth and put that over the burn. You can also just put lavender straight onto the burn to help help soothe that skin. Lavender can help with a more um, clear complexion because it promotes the growth of new skin cells. It can help clear blocked pores, and it can and it can help balance out um, sebum, which is like the oil that we have on our skin. You can put a drop of lavender essential oil into your cleanser or into your moisturizer. You could also put lavender straight onto a cotton ball and to just dab that on wherever you're trying to create a more clear complexion. Lavender is great for your hair. You can put a couple of drops into your shampoo. First of all, it's gonna smell amazing. When you do that, you're gonna be like, oh my gracious, this is so relaxing. It's great for nourishing lush hair. It's also great for people who have flaky, have a flaky scalp, helping to calm that down. 
lavender, a lot of people, oh, here's a beauty tip. A lot of people love to put like a drop or two of lavender into their mascara to help with longer, lusher lashes. Lavender is a, pan, a powerful anti-inflammatory and is great for muscle or joint pain, which is why I'm sure that they're putting lavender into the rescuer, and which is that beautiful soothing um, blend for children for their muscles, or into the Aroma Touch, which is that beautiful massage blend that a lot of adults love, love, love using. Lavender can help alleviate nausea and is soothing to the stomach. It can help us clear out the waste products from our lymph system and can aid in digestion. Lavender is useful with, for babies with thrush. It's great for hay fever. It's great for those times in the fall or in the spring when you're having seasonal discomfort and you have those runny noses, watery eyes, sneezing. Just put, you can go ahead and just put a drop of lavender underneath your tongue, hold it there for 30 seconds, and then swallow and see if that doesn't help calm that system down. Now, I did say that you could use lavender um, internally. Here is what, here's my recommendations on that. And that is that doTERRA is the only essential oil brand that I would ever trust for me and my family to use internally. And here is why. It's because they third party test every single batch of essential oils. So not just like every third batch or every 10th batch, every 100th hundred, hundred batch. No, they're third party testing every single batch of essential oils to make sure that when you get your bottle of lavender essential oil, there's nothing in there except for lavender. There's no contaminants. Um, beautiful, you can go to a site so after they third party test it, they mark the batch number on the bottle of every single batch of oil. And then you can go to a site called source to you and you can type in your batch number and you can see every single one of the tests that's been done on your batch of essential oil and you can see all of the results. What other company does this? Like, wouldn't that be great if the fast food companies like said, okay, this is how we tested our products. This is what our test showed on, on your food. This is how we tested your hair products. This is what, you know, or whatever. What, wouldn't you love to see the test? Well, doTERRA is 100% transparent. They want you to know what they're, you're getting because they know that it's certified pure therapeutic grade. It's we can trust doTERRA essential oils. Now, is, is, um, can you ingest every single one of doTERRA essential oils? No, no you can't. Because some plants are made to be ingested and some plants are not. And so, but it's super easy to see if you can, if you can ingest a, um, some essential oils from the doTERRA mix because it will have the supplement facts on your bottle. Now your supplement facts are gonna look exactly like the nutrition facts that are on the side of your cereal box. It's gonna tell you how to use them. It's gonna have like that same, that same look and feel. And also if you can use it internally, they will, doTERRA will put for internal use on your bottle. So it's super easy to know. If you have a bottle of doTERRA oils, if you can use it internally or not. Here's a tip when it comes to having fun or, or I guess kind of ending the fun and sending people home. If you're having a party and guests just seem to be lingering and lingering and lingering and you love them, like you love them, that's why you invited them in the first place, but you're like, I'm ready to go to bed go ahead, start diffusing your lavender. It is going to, it is going to um, help people relax, help people reconnect kind of with their inner systems and help them realize, yeah, it is time to go to bed. Now, if you don't have a diffuser, you can definitely put a drop of lavender um, into a candle. What you wanna do is you want to to light the candle, get a little bit of the wax going on, 
blow out the candle, put the lavender essential oil in the wax, and then relight the candle. You never, never want to pour a, um, essential oils straight onto a lit flame because it can flare up and you can get a burn. And then if you're doing it with lavender, at least you have the lavender there to put on the burn. But just, yeah, let's just not do that. Lavender is also great at um, repelling moths, which is something that I did not remember. So we all know that cedarwood is so great at repelling moths and other insects. That's why people, you know, in the old fashioned times or even nowadays, put the things that they want to keep away from bugs into cedar chests because insects don't like cedar. Well, that is another reason why there are so many sachets, so many, um, cultures around the world use sachets of lavender because it helps to keep away the moss and the bugs. So you could just put a couple drops of lavender onto a cotton ball, stick that in your drawer, and um, put that in your closet. You know, I would refresh it. If you're, if you're putting lavender into a bigger space like a closet, I would be refreshing that on a consistent basis. You can put lavender into home, homemade lip balm just um, whenever you're gonna be out in the sun, you can put lavender into so many things. You can put it into lemonade, lavender lemonade, raspberry lavender, or strawberry lavender lemonade, or just strawberry lemonade. I mean, just lavender lemonade. It's gonna taste so good. You can put it lavender in smoothies, in pancakes to give it a different um, taste. You can put lavender in frosting. If you've never tried chocolate cupcakes with lavender icing, you are definitely gonna wanna try that. Um, my favorite icing is buttercream frosting. And um, so putting a couple of drops into that is gonna be beautiful. But you can also put lavender into chocolate frosting and it's gonna, it's gonna give whoever tries that just a little bit of a, a surprise with the taste but also like a, a soothing, well chocolate soothing enough as it is, but it's gonna add to the soothing effect of the cupcake or the frosting. You can put lavender into yogurt. So, you know, play around with your lavender. See see what you like to, um, to add your lavender to. Lavender is great for emotionally, lavender is great for to use when you've had a stressful day. It's great, Caleb, can you pull me that Modern Essentials book over there? It's great to help you to calm and soothe your, your spirit. So if you um, find yourself getting angry or agitated or upset, or even if you find yourself getting sad, Pull out your lavender, start diffusing it. So a study has found that lavender can also help focus the mind. So it's great to use when you're studying, unless you're already super tired and then don't try studying when you're super tired because, um, because you're just gonna go to sleep and that won't, that won't accomplish what you want to accomplished. Okay. I just saw one of my notes. So I wanted to get a book so I can read it to you later. Lavender is great because it's very, very high in linalool, it's, which is very, very calming to our emotions. It's great to use in times when we have anxious feelings, times of sadness when you feel like a dark cloud is hanging over you. It's great to use when you're freaking out. Um, it's great to use when you're starting to get that panicky feeling. It's great to use when you have strong emotions that you're having a difficult time controlling. Again, just calming those systems so that we can have that beautiful character that we talked about in the beginning. Lavender is great to use when you have emotional or mental fatigue and it can help balance out the mood swings. Lavender is great to work with if you've been if you've suffered from trauma or abuse. It can help us calm down and help us start to look at things in a different light and help us to just process those feelings and, and let them go. Let them go. We don't want our todays to be shackled to everything negative that has happened in our past. No. 
we're gonna we're gonna go with we're gonna run with the beauty that is today without the past affecting us and so lavender can help us calm down process through the negative things that have happened to us and everyone has negative things that have happened in their life lavender when when it comes to love it can help us calm down and figure out what type of love do I really, really want? We're not just gonna settle for whatever comes our way. We're not gonna be swept off our feet by, by someone that is not a good fit for us, right? We're gonna, we're gonna calm down. We're gonna say and think about who we really are and who we really want to invite into our lives we're gonna think about what do I want my life to be to look like? And is this person a person who is going to partner with me in the life that I want to create? And and you know, if not, then then let's let's stay true to our, our own self and and let's know that a beautiful partner will come around for us, come along for us eventually. Let's not settle for for someone that is we're going to bring you into our circles that's not going to be for our highest good and the highest good of our future families so la lavender is not an aphrodisiac um so it's definitely not an oil that you want to use for one night stands although i am definitely not a person who's going to who's gonna be an advocate of one night stands. Like when it comes to love, stay true to yourself and save yourself. And save yourself for, for marriage, right? We don't want love one night stands, nor do we want to be the type of people that play around with other people's emotions, right? We want to have absolute integrity when it comes to love. So when you're, but when you're, when you're thinking about who you want to love and who you want to bring into your circles, diffuse some lavender is going to help you stay calm. It's going to help you stay focused, and it's good to just get out on right in writing. Who is it? What are the characteristics of the person that I want to be inviting into my life? And then here's another tip on that one when it comes to love. Like let's after we do the the look at the hard look at what we want. Um, the other person to be like that we want to bring into our lives. Can we just do a hard look on ourselves too and look and see, do I have those characteristics? Because I think that in relationships, like attracts like. Or like, if like doesn't attract like, like definitely likes to stay with like. So if I want someone to be kind and loving, I have to be kind and loving. If I want someone to be patient, I have to be patient. If I want someone to be spontaneous or whatever it is that, that you want in love, we have to create those same characteristics in our lives. And that's gonna create a beautiful, beautiful relationship down the road. Lavender can help bring in feelings of feeling loved, of feeling peaceful, and even help to bring in a state of bliss. Whenever you're feeling fearful or restricted, Using lavender, diffusing lavender, putting lavender onto like essential oil necklaces or bracelets can help us calm down and really assess things with our with logic and listening to our inter inner intuition and and see do do I need to be afraid of this? Okay, what's the worst case scenario that can happen? How can I plan for this? You know, how can I prepare so I can let go of some of this fear? Sometimes when we're prepared, when we know that no matter what happens to us in life, we're going to be okay. We're going to survive. We're going to be just fine. When we get to that point, um, it's beautiful. And lavender can help us in calming down our fears and, 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 and preparing for worst case scenarios so that we can have a greater sense of security, a greater sense of peace and calm. Lavender can be an abundance oil, and this is why, because when we're calm, we, when we look at ourselves, we usually feel good about ourselves. And so it can help us, whether if we're working on a business project, it can help us stay calm and realize, you know what, 
yes, I'm going to get there eventually. I'm just going to keep running toward it or baby stepping toward it or whatever, but I'm going to get there eventually. So in that way, it's an abundance oil. It's also an abundance oil in this way, in that as we're calm and we're more confident in who we are, we we can ask for the raise. We can check out, um, you know, start putting up the applications for the better job because we don't have that fear of rejection anymore. So lavender can be an abundance oil in that way as well. Lavender supports clear and honest communication. It allows us to calm down in our fears that we're not gonna be heard um, and that what we say won't be received well. And it allows us to hear what other people are saying to us in a calm way too, right? If we have relationships, when we have, we all have relationships. So when we have relationships, um, there's, there's always some sort of tension that comes along. Not all the time, but it does come along because I'm a different person and you're a different person and we have different thoughts, we have different feelings. And so every once in a while, we're gonna rub each other wrong. And it's good at those times to just relax and, and talk about things. And lavender can help people stay in that relaxed and loving state. I feel like it's when we get out of that relaxed state that people, that when we get agitated, that, that the love seems to leave the conversations. Lavender can help us open up spiritually. It can help us relax and, and just better. I feel like when we're in a relaxed state, we can better hear the voice of God. We can better hear the answers to our prayers. It can also help promote faith when times get hard, right? Have there been hard times throughout all history? Yes, there are. Did, did even Jesus Christ have some very hard times? Yeah, I think during the atonement, he had some super hard times. Does that mean that God didn't love him? No. No, his Heavenly Father loved him, and our Heavenly Fathers love us. And so just because we're going through hard times doesn't mean that God doesn't love us. And as we, you know, diffuse, use lavender, we can be reminded, we can just relax and be reminded, you know what? Hard times happen. We can probably learn through this. We can become more compassionate. We can reach out to other people, and all of that is good. So we can make good things happen even when times are hard and God loves us even when times are hard and lavender can help us remember that. Lavender is great to use when you're hard, having a hard time seeing your path. Go ahead to fuse it. It will help you calm down. Calm down and listen to the inner voice. Maybe do some brainstorming. What's my best path now? It can help bring a balance to both masculine and inner and feminine traits. So if you have like this um, tug of war or this battle of the sexes going on in your house, women are good, men are good, men are bad, women are bad. Can we just stop that? Women are good and men are bad. Okay, I did not mean to say that. Women are good and men are good. And some women do some bad things and we all do bad things sometimes. And some men do bad things and we all do bad things sometimes. So neither sex has the monopoly on virtue. And lavender can help us calm down and realize that. So here's some things that you can blend lavender with. In times when you need histamine support, you know, spring, fall, whatever, when you find yourself coughing, sneezing, all of that, you can diffuse two drops lavender, two drops lemon, two drops peppermint. The lavender is going to calm your system down. The lemon is going to help clear things out. And the peppermint is going to help open up your airways. You can also put two drops of each of those into a veggie cap or doTERRA does make a does make a um, product called Trinese that has two drops of each of those in a gel cap that is just beautiful. So you can, um, if you have overexcited children who don't wanna go to bed and can't relax, go ahead, diffuse it in their room. You can combine lavender with 
ylang ylang. Put a drop of each into their, um, put like two drops of each into their diffuser, start it up. Or you can put a drop into of each into a coconut of, into a coconut, into some coconut oil. And then you can massage that on their back, on the bottoms of your feet. My mom was so beautiful and caring and loving that she often gave us back massages and when we were going to sleep. And it's something that we children kept up. I think that's one of the reasons that we have like daily massages in my family. In my family, at least one person every single day gets massaged. We actually do it during our scripture time um, as we're, we try to do like a half an hour scripture time. And so um, we either have one person like read one of the columns um, or we switch every five minutes or something like that so that everyone is massaging that person on their day. And we have to pair the day with like when it's their turn to cook that, their turn to cook that day as well. So I am a huge believer in the power of touch to connect us, to calm us, to keep our bodies working well, to boost our immune system. So if you're, if you're, if any of those sound like a good thing to do, you know, definitely get your lavender out, put it in your coconut oil, your olive oil, whatever, massage it on, um, the backs and feet of your children. If you have a fearful or worrying child, or even if you are fearful and tend to worry, or you're in just a state of worry, although that, that might be unusual for you, go ahead, blend some, blend some lavender with frankincense. Frankincense is a very protective oil. It helps us feel protected and watched over. If you have children that can't sleep because they, um, miss their parents or for you know they just don't want to even sleep away from mom go ahead maybe have mom wear some lavender throughout the day and then put a drop of lavender on their favorite stuffed toy or on their you know put it in a linen spray and spray their pillows and sheets down maybe maybe put it on your dryer balls as you're as you're you know drying your clothes so they get that beautiful lavender scent that scent will remind the child of mom and may help that child feel more secure and safe as they're going into going to sleep in their own bed so for calming oils if you're if you're trying to calm down and lavender just isn't quite doing the 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 full trick for you um, or giving you the full benefits that you're looking for, go ahead, try combining it with bergamot, with Roman chamomile, cedarwood, frankincense, jasmine, any of the, the mandarin oils, the green mandarin, yellow mandarin, red mandarin. Combining it with neroli, pettigrain, rose, sandalwood, vetiver, ylang ylang, or cilantro. Each of these oils are beautiful in helping us to relax if you're trying to use lavender for sleep and it's not doing that the full um exactly what you want it's not is not um strong enough for you or it's not relaxing enough for you combine it with any of those oils i've just mentioned it's going to be beautiful you can combine it again in your diffuser or just rubbing that onto the bottoms of your feet so i think that we've talked about most of the um, the the aspects, the emotional and physical aspects of lavender. I do want to say, hold on just a minute. I had a couple studies that I wanted to read to you about lavender, but you know what? They are in another book, another section of the book, so we'll just have to forego that this time. The negative emotions that lavender can help with is when we have blocked communication, when we have a fear of rejection, when we're feeling constricted or tense, when we have racing thoughts, when we have emotional dishonesty going on, relaxing us, helping us speak our truth better, when we want to hide our fear self-disclosure, when we have a feeling of being unseen or unheard or unloved, when we're insecure and the positive properties that lavender can help bring in is open communication, having a sense of calm, 
being better able to express ourselves, having more emotional honesty. That would be like my number one best. Um, I love, who doesn't love honesty, right? Um, being more self-aware, feeling, um, having more peace in your life and um, just, just having more balanced emotions. Okay, so that is some of the emotional and physical benefits of lavender essential oil. Reminding everyone the diffuser blend is for the entire week is two drops of sandalwood, the oil of sacred devotion, and alignment, two drops of cinnamon, the superman of oils, the oil that helps us reignite passion and um, builds our confidence, and two drops of lavender, the oil of communication and calm, it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, diffuser blend to diffuse as we're going out of the summer season into the autumn season. The song for the entire week is Waltz of the Flowers by Peter Tchaikovsky, although I'm still exploring some um, slow waltzes that I hope to put on the channel later. And the affirmation for today is I am peaceful when speaking to new people about Mother Nature, again, reminding us that if if, if conversations get, seem to be going into a state that it might be contentious or tense, can we just bring it back to nature? Can we bring it back to the things that we have in common? Our love of nature. Who doesn't have some part of nature that they don't love. We all love some part of nature. The affirmation for the entire week is I am energized by the beauty and love that is flowing my way. And I would almost add I am energized by the beauty and love that is flowing in my flowing my way in abundance. There is an abundance of beauty in the world. There is an abundance of love flowing our way. Um, hoping that that our heavenly fathers can our heavenly father can help us each open our eyes to see the beauty in the world and the love that's flowing our way and the ways that we can show others love as well. Okay. This is Susanna Williams with Essential Oils, Health Matters, and Living the Wholesome Life, reminding us all that we have this incredible power within us, with God, to make every day a great day. Bye-bye.